This is Mina Barsoom with CDOCS.com and welcome to the tip of the day. Today I'd like to talk about the virtual exam. As we came back from the closures with COVID-19, I decided to implement some new technologies in my office to help us minimize interactions with so many patients and also to preserve the PPE that we have in the office. At any given point, I may be interacting with upwards of five patients per hour, and that can be a little bit cumbersome when you have to do so many of those periodic exams throughout the day. So I, I looked at the periodic exam and I decided there has to be a better way that I could still deliver the same level of precision and care that I do physically in the operatory and do it remotely. So as I looked at different technologies, one of the first things that I came across was what you see on the screen. This is the Double Three by Double Robotics. And the nice thing about this product is it's essentially a standalone device that you can control from your desktop and you can remotely move this around um, anywhere in the office. So it's as if I'm in the treatment room with the patient. So it's pretty neat. They let me test drive it and I was able to you know, sit at my desk and kind of drive it around and move it to different parts of, the, of, of their offices and actually interact with the people that were there. So it's a nice option. It's a little bit expensive at $4,000. I didn't, didn't want to spend that much right away until I could prove that this concept would work. Uh, so I looked at alternatives and, and the option I settled on was the portal by Facebook. Now I know there's some privacy concerns with Facebook obviously and, and those were some very, very difficult things I had to think about. Um, and the good news with the Facebook portal, nothing is recorded or stored in the cloud, nothing is recorded on site. And it uses Facebook Messenger, which is actually an approved uh, telemedicine platform right now during this time uh, with COVID-19. So I wasn't too concerned about using it for a short period of time. The other thing is we're not using any personal health information with our patients when we're talking to them. We're simply just having a conversation. So from a HIPAA perspective, uh, it's, it's a safe solution for what we're doing. And I decided to implement the Facebook Portal Plus, which is what you see on the right-hand side in each of the hygiene rooms. In my office, I implemented the Portal TV, which is just a device that fits on top of your TV. It has a camera and sound, and it just connects uh, through Wi-Fi to the other portals in the office. And I can simply call into any of the treatment rooms that I have, and then have the conversation with the patient and the hygienist. So it's a really neat setup. This is what it looks like in the operatory. On the left-hand side, you can see that's the, the Portal Plus. I was able to put our branding and, and different things on the device so it looks professional. And then I found these speaker stands on the right-hand side uh, that look really nice and clean and they hide the wires and, and, and works really well in the operatory. Small enough footprint, everything's Wi-Fi. There's not a lot of wiring and things you have to do to get it to work.